Okay, in this video, we're gonna do a double integral. We're gonna do the integral from one to two of the integral from one to two of the natural log of x, y, dy, dx. So um, in class, when we do this, there's usually a lot of questions. So I thought I would just make a video about it so that uh, after answering all those questions, you can go back and watch it if you need to. So first of all, you've definitely gotta know um, how to integrate the natural log of x. So here I'm just integrating the natural log of x, dx, it's gonna be x natural log of x minus x and then plus c, but we're doing definite integrals so we don't have to worry about plus c. The way that you um, arrive at this is integration by parts. So I'm just gonna uh, put that on the screen here. I kind of assume you know how to use integration by parts, but uh, you have to choose a u and a dv. So u is natural log of x, dv is dx. Then you calculate du, you calculate v, um, and then it's um, uv minus the integral of v du. Um, so if you give it a shot, you'll definitely end up at x ln of x minus x and then plus c. Uh, so let's actually do the double integral that we want to do. So here it is. And what we're going to start out by doing is actually just this inner integral, right? So the integral from 1 to 2 of natural log of xy dy. So I'm going to treat this as an indefinite integral um, to find an antiderivative and then use the fundamental theorem on it. So we're going to start with trying to figure this out. So I'm actually gonna use u substitution on this. So I'm gonna let u equal xy, which means that du is x dy. And then I wanna substitute for dy. So I'm gonna say that one over x du is dy. Um, so that's all I need for that. So now I'm gonna make my substitutions. I'm gonna pull out the one over x and get the integral of natural log of u du. So it's one over x, the integral of natural log of u du. So this is the thing that we have memorized, or we could use integration by parts, but uh, better off memorizing it. So it's one over x, and then the quantity, um, it's gonna be u natural log of u minus u. Uh, we need a plus c at the end of this thing, but uh, we're actually doing a definite integral, so we're not gonna worry about that. So now it's going to uh, replace all the u's that we see with x, y. So one over x, and then x, y, natural log of x, y minus xy, we can distribute the one over x, so let's do that. So we get y natural log of xy minus y. Okay, so that's our indefinite integral. Um, so let's go back up and we'll uh, complete that inner integral, right? The inner definite integral. So we still have the integral from one to two. Uh, this is what we got for our integrand there. And then we're gonna go from y equals one to y equals two. I always like to specify what I'm substituting for because there's two variables. Um, and you can just keep track of it better. I mean, I'm color coding it here, but when you do it on paper, you don't usually do that. And then there's still a dx. All right, so fundamental theorem, we're gonna plug in um, two for y. So all of our y's become twos. We get that, and then minus, we're gonna plug in one for y, um, which just gives us the natural log of x minus one. And uh, still dx. Okay, so here, uh, I'm gonna simplify this a little bit. So integral from one to two. So we get uh, two natural log of two x minus the natural log of x minus one dx. So that's if you simplify everything. Um, collect, uh, collect like terms kind of, it's really just the constants that you can combine. Uh, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take this integrand and just kind of look at the natural log things to kind of make life easier. So we have two natural log of two x minus x, uh, minus natural log of x, I should say. So this is the natural log of four x squared minus the natural log of x, right? Because coefficients become exponents, so it's the natural log of the quantity two x squared, um, which is four x squared overall. And I'm now gonna use the property that uh, subtraction between logs becomes division within logs. So natural log of four x squared over x which is the same as the natural log of 4x, um, which is good because that's a little easier. But what I can do is uh, multiplication within logs becomes addition between, and I can actually break this up into just this, which I think is gonna make life a little easier. So that um, is like two thirds of the integrand there. Don't forget that minus one that's still there, but like the integral from one to two of two natural log of two x minus natural log of x minus one we just messed around with the natural logs. There's still a minus one there. So now we have one to two, uh, natural log of four plus natural log of x, and then still minus one. 
and dx. Okay, and now I'm gonna actually integrate this. So I'm gonna group those constant terms together. So the natural log of four minus one. Uh, when I integrate that, I just get that thing. So the natural log of four minus one and then times x. So I'll have this. Even if you integrated it piece by piece by piece, you'd have natural log of four times x, um, and then minus one times x, and that's what basically happened there. And then I know the antiderivative of natural log of x. That's pretty important for this one. It's x ln of x minus x. And then we're evaluating from one to two. So what I'm gonna do is copy all of the relevant integral stuff to the next uh, kind of page and go from there. So here we are, exactly the same stuff. And now what I'm gonna do is a fundamental theorem here. So we're gonna plug in two. That gives me uh, two times the natural log of four minus one uh, plus two natural log of two and then minus two and then minus the quantity natural log of four minus one plus natural log of one minus one. And now if we simplify this, um, so I'm distributing that two so it becomes natural log of four squared which is 16 minus two plus natural log of four minus two minus the natural log of four um, because I'm distributing the negative, so it's minus the natural log of four, and then it's plus one, then it's minus the natural log of one, but that's zero, and then plus one. So that's where all that comes from. If you look at that, there's actually a lot that simplifies. Um, we get uh, the natural log of four minus the natural log of four, those are gone. We have a minus two and a plus two, those are gone. All that's left is the natural log of 16 minus two. And so if you remember, what we were really doing is uh, this double integral. So that double integral is equal to the natural log of 16 minus two. So a lot of integrating um, the natural log of u or the natural log of x, however you wanna look at it. Um, I think that's a really good one to memorize. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.